Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a grocery haul for you guys. So this is going to be kind of like a weekly grocery haul of things that I usually buy for me and my family for the week. So I do grocery shopping once a week which is usually every Friday. If you guys are new to my channel I am a family of four and my daughter who is my youngest she is on a majority gluten-free diet. So I do buy a lot of gluten-free as well. So I'm gonna share with you guys what we bought this week for groceries. Now, I do try to stick to a budget, but I usually always go over it, but I do try not to spend more than 150 a week, but I end up going over that budget a lot just because one, we do buy a few of our groceries from Whole Foods, which is a little pricey. And also I do buy a few things that are organic. So obviously organic things are gonna be a little more pricier than things that are not organic. I don't buy all clean and all organic stuff, but there are specific things that I do. So that brings up the price as well. I know I can cut my grocery bill probably in half if I buy not name brand stuff. I buy generic brand and not organic and not shop at Whole Foods too. But this is what just works for me and my family. So this is what I usually buy. And I'll tell you guys how much I spent. I know at Kroger, I spent I think 154. And then I'll have to look at my receipt and see how much I spent at Whole Foods. And then I'll give you guys a total of how much I spent here in the bottom on the screen. So I'm just gonna show you guys my family of four grocery haul. If you guys would like me to do like a grocery budget tip um type video, let me know in the comments because I do have a lot of tips on how to save when grocery shopping and things that you can do to save while shopping. I probably should apply a lot of that to myself when I go grocery shopping, but a lot of times I don't. So just let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in that video because I think I've only filmed one of those and that was probably over a year ago. So I can do an updated one for you guys. But anyways, enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and jump right into today's grocery haul. All right, you guys. So my total was $154.89. So I did go over what I wanted to go over, but I did get a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. So over here, starting with some drinks. I got this harmless coconut water. I wanted to try this, so I just grabbed the smallest bottle they had. So I got this coconut water, and a lot of this stuff is pretty pricey, and I did get a few things that were organic, which is what brought the price up. But I got this harmless coconut water, and then I got two of this organic apple cider vinegar drink, and this one is in grape. And this one is in apple cinnamon. This is great to have like first thing in the morning, so I got two bottles of those. I got the kids some more orange juice. I also want to try this cold brew coffee. It is Kona blend, and I'm not sure. I've never tried it, but I thought I would try that out. I know this is not healthy, this is super unhealthy, and I should not be drinking it, but sometimes I just need a pick-me-up and I don't want coffee, so I got these sparkling like energy drinks, and I got two of them. I got my husband's um, whole milk chocolate milk, and I also got his tea. And then over here, I got a bag of lemons to make like lemon water or hot water in the morning. I also got some more of these mandarin oranges. Got some purple grapes. Last time I got green at this time around, I did get some purple ones. I got two cases of strawberries. And then one night I'm going to be making um, chicken fettuccine for dinner. So for me, I'll be eating this pasta, which is made from chickpeas. My husband won't eat it. So that is why I grabbed another box of pasta. So I just got him the linguine. And that's gonna be for chicken parmesan. I'm not sure where I put the sauce, but. And then I grabbed some yogurt. I like to try new yogurts every once in a while. So I'm gonna try this Faye one in vanilla. And then I also got the kids their yogurt, which is just a Stonyfield organic and it's half blueberry and half strawberry. And then I got Madison one more of these once upon a farm, like little packs. She does have, I think two in the fridge. So I only grabbed her one. And then frozen stuff, I got the kids some more chicken nuggets for quick lunches. So this is just the Earth's Best brand. They love these chicken nuggets. So I just got them the biggest bag they have. I got some jasmine rice and then I got some lunch meat. I love the Applegate brand. So I got some Applegate oven roasted turkey breast. And then I also got the kids some hot dogs. These are the kids favorite hot dogs. So I always get them these. So 
some hot dogs and also some lunch meat. Over here, I have some mashed potatoes for my husband's side for dinner. I am meal prepping for myself, so a lot of this stuff I won't be eating from, but my husband doesn't really like to eat half the stuff I eat, so I got him some mashed potatoes for an easy, quick side. Got some more brown eggs, some more flour tortillas. The kids love quesadillas and so does my husband. I got um, some bread, this is the bread the kids usually eat. I also got some more of almond butter. I was out of my almond butter, so I just grabbed this one. And this is the pasta sauce I will be using for when we make um, chicken fettuccine one night for dinner, probably this weekend. I grabbed Ryan a little Nutella little breadstick thing. He loves these, so I haven't gotten him this for a while, so he'll be happy when he gets home from school to see that. Then I got some cheeses. I got the kids just some regular string cheese. And then I got two bags of this sharp cheddar cheese. I needed some vanilla extract for a recipe I'll be making. I was out of my Kodiak um, power cake mix. Sometimes I buy the frozen one because it is easy and quick. But I think for meal prepping this weekend, I'm just going to make um, in batches either waffles or um, pancakes. So I just needed some more of the mix. Also some chicken broth. Some flaxseed meal. Also for a recipe. Hopefully I will film this weekend. I'm not sure when I will get it up, but I need that for the recipe as well. And then over here is all the junk food, so don't judge. But again, my husband loves Reese's, so I grabbed him his Reese's. I always treat myself once a week to whatever I want. I love candy, so it usually is candy. So I'm gonna have these smart sweets, like Swedish fish. For the kids, they also really love this cereal. It's just a peanut butter cereal. I also got them some mini vanilla wafers for like a um, little snack for school. I also got them some Cheetos, these Larabard, they are the chocolate chip little cookie bars. I also got some of my favorite chips. These chips are so good. I've tried so many different ones from this brand and they're really good. So I got this one in lime so I can have something to snack on. And then of course my favorite bars. So my Go Macro bars, these are so delicious. Right now they're all 20% off any protein bars at my Kroger. So I did grab five. I grabbed three of my Go Macro ones. I grabbed one in coconut, almond butter, and chocolate chip. I grabbed another one in peanut butter, chocolate chip, and then dark chocolate and almonds. And then for my Power Crunch ones, I just got the peanut butter fudge one and then a peanut butter cream one. So those are like my little protein bars. And then for my husband, he likes these. So I grabbed him this as well. Just some Klondike um, ice cream bars and Reese's. All right, you guys, and this is what we got from Whole Foods this week. So we got some chicken breasts, and we got two packs of this boneless, skinless chicken breast. We usually get a different chicken breast, but I guess they were out, so my husband got these. So we got two packs of those. We got a bag of baby carrots, the rainbow ones. The kids love these carrots. We got some green beans. Sweet potatoes are in here. I got an avocado for my avocado toast this week a bag of red Fuji apples, regular potatoes, broccoli, and then I guess my husband got a sweet treat, which is these chocolate brownies. So that is everything we got from Whole Foods this week. All right guys, so that is going to end my family of four grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you guys can see, I don't eat super clean, super organic and super healthy, but I do try to buy healthy things and organic stuff, but Honestly, this is what just works for me and my family. I know a lot of people have opinions on when you buy processed food and all that stuff, but I am a little more lenient when it comes to shopping for me and my family. But like I said, this is just what works for me and my family. Now I am gonna be filming another grocery haul soon. I'll be doing one from Sprouts. I haven't been to Sprouts in a really long time. I was originally gonna go to Trader Joe next, but I think I'm gonna go to Sprouts. So that'll probably be my next grocery um, like haul type video. And then I'll also share with you guys in that video how to meal prep and how I plan out my meal prepping whenever I go grocery shopping and meal prep. I try to meal prep breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that'll be in my next grocery haul video. And then after that, maybe I'll do Trader Joe's depending on how you guys are liking all of my grocery haul videos. But I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I will see you guys next time. Bye.